What's good YouTube? Of course, a Carby here. So, we are diving into some Nick Cave for you guys. This one is featuring Kylie Minogue. This is very fitting, considering that we had some Kylie on the channel last night with that NXS mashup that we had. That was fucking awesome. And we also had Peaked giving us some more Kylie songs in the comments for that as well. So, we'll get into some Kylie for you guys. We got three songs that Peaked gave us for Kylie. And we also have this request that Peaked sent in for a Nick Cave song featuring Kylie Minogue, Where the Wild Roses Grow. I love Nick Cave. I've really enjoyed the ones that we've done by him so far. He has a really, really dark kind of styling to his music. I love how different it is. It's very different than what you're used to hearing, right? And Nick has this very specific way of storytelling and putting a song together that is so, so deeply emotional and meaningful. And I love what we have covered by him so far. So I'm excited to see what him and Kylie lay down on a track together. Very, very interesting collaboration right here. I love when we get into ones that are kind of unpredictable like this because Kylie is like a a dance musician and Nick Cave is like on his darkness all the time so we will see what we get I'm interested to see what we get with this one it's gonna be a great collab I imagine thank you Peaked for this request if you guys are new here go ahead hit that subscribe button for me we talk about mental health addiction world issues everything in between break down all the lyrics instrumentation we got a music video for this one I like diving in and going the whole nine yards on breaking down the the lyrics for you guys. I really love taking the topics inside of these songs and relating them to our own lives and using the lyricism inside of these songs and applying them to the real situations we go through and providing some inspiration and some relatability from the lyricism into our own lives is very important. I think music is very good for that and I think that there is a lot of benefit to going in and breaking down the lyrics of songs whenever you can really talk about how they apply to your own life. It can provide a lot of inspiration and motivation to want to do better things with your own self, to survive your own problems, to pull yourself out of your own holes. If you're going through anything in life, I say this in every video. Please go get the professional help that is available. There are plenty of people who care, especially if it's mental health or addiction. Sometimes you got to get that professional help to really pull yourself out of the holes that you're in. As somebody who had to do that for their self, I really like to encourage people to go do it because it works and you will be amazed at what you can do in your life on the other side of all of those issues that we deal with and as somebody like I said who has literally done that their self you can do anything man you can live your dreams you can live the life that you want to live you can put the energy out into the world that you want them to resonate with and encourage a positive message and a positive change into their lives as well and that's what it's all about about once we've recovered for ourselves and we've really settled in to our own recoveries I think it's our responsibility to help those that are also going through it as well so I appreciate all of your guys' support and I'm always here to support you as well you know that I love you guys so much we're gonna get into this one on um, Vacasa Coffee a reaction video a day or three keep the doctor away Fuck those apples. This is Nick Cave with the Bad Seeds and Kylie Minogue where the wild roses grow. Mm, we gonna get a dark video in this one. It's definitely about to get dark in here. Wow. That's a hell of a way to start a video. Do not know 
I love it. It's like movie quality right here. This is very much so great quality. Now, I believe this might be about a story. Hold on, there's an annotation here. All right, here we go. Here we go, right here. We have this annotation that's very descriptive for us. In medieval Europe, there apparently lived a young woman named Eliza Day, whose beauty was like that of the wild roses that grew down the river, all bloody and red. One day, a young man came into town and instantly fell in love with Eliza. They dated for three days. On the first day, he visited her at her house. On the second, he brought her a single red rose and asked her to meet him where the wild roses grow. On the third day, he took her down to the river where he killed her. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's what this is about then. This is going to be a... This is going to be a deep one right here. This is off of the Murder Ballads al album, so it does make sense, right? This is off of that album. Man. The horrible man supposedly waited till her back was turned, then took a rock in his fist, whispering, All beauty must die. And with one swift blow, he killed her instantly. He placed a rose between her teeth and slid her body into the river. Some people claim to have seen her ghost wandering the riverside, blood running down the side of her head, a single rose in her hand. Jesus Christ, I got goosebumps, bro. Fucking hell, dude. Oh, man. Whew. Them river ghosts are different, man, let me tell you. <laughs> I might know a thing or two about that. Wow. <sighs> Boy, this is going to be something right here. From the first day I saw her, I knew she was the one. They're going to tell the story from both perspectives. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, bro. Man, this is about to be something right here. I love the video. From the first day I saw her, I knew she was the one. She stared in my eyes and smiled. Man. Her lips were the color of the roses that grew down the river, all bloody and wild. Man. Subsided in his sure embrace, he would be my first man, and with a careful hand, he wiped out the tears that ran down my face. This is the fact that they chose to do it, and the... I understand why he picked Kylie. I get it. Her voice is so haunting. You know a pop star is definitely going to have that kind of haunting voice whenever it comes to a track that's carried like this more slowly and more emotional. You know that she's going to have that perfect wispiness inside of her voice. He made a brilliant decision selecting her to play the Elisa Day role in this song right here this is just unbelievable what <laughs> nick cave is different man nick cave is different what can i say he said from the first day i saw her i knew she was the one she stared in my eyes and smiled for her lips were the color of the roses that grew down the river all bloody and wild man oh man Man, Jesus. And then Kylie says, When he knocked on my door and entered the room, my trembling subsided in his sure embrace. 
He would be my first man, and with a careful hand, he wiped at the tears that ran down my face. Wow. She's inside of her innocence, and a man knocks at the door. Offering love with an ulterior motive attached to it. That right there. The, the way they're attacking this musically in the music video as well. This is theatrical right here. This is like something you would see up on a, like a Broadway stage, right? Whenever they're having those tragedy kind of plays going on. Wow. This is totally something of that nature. Nick Cave... I imagine if we watched a performance by him, he might have that kind of aspect even to the way that he is on stage. I've never seen a full Nick Cave performance before, so I'm not sure what kind of theatrics he gets into for an entirety of a performance. But uh, the way that he writes his songs, I imagine you get a super, super movie-esque vibe whenever it comes to his live performances. This is really good. Wiped up the tears that run down my face They call me the wild rose this But my name was Eliza Day Why they call me that I do not know For my name was Eliza Day they call me the wild rose, but my name was Elisa Day. Why they call me it, I do not know. For my name was Elisa Day. Wow. They're singing from the ghost perspective in that part. That is so heavy, dude. Oh, man, that's... Mm. <laughs> That's the message that the ghost wants to give to the world. Why are you calling me the Wild Rose? I have a name. Wow. God, Lord peaked. What do you got me on tonight? <laughs> this is so good. For my name was a nice day. On the second day I brought her a flower. She was more beautiful. Than any woman I've seen I said, do you know Where the wild roses grow So sweet and scarlet and free On the second day he came With a single red rose He said, give me your loss and your sorrow I nodded my head As I lay on the bed If I show you the roses Will you find The acting in this video is so good. Nick Cave has such a good acting vibe. I, I mean, both of them in this video, though. Wow. The porcelain-esque of this video, right? When it comes to the feminine side of it, I mean, lord, they captured a dark vibe right here. I mean, this is nothing but dark. It's a tragedy, right? Wow. Let's get into these lyrics, though. Nick Cave. On the second day, I brought her a flower. She was more beautiful than any woman I've seen. I said, do you know where the wild roses grow? So sweet and scarlet and free. Man, using enchantment as a trap, dude. That is crazy. Verse 4 from Kylie. On the second day he came with a single red rose. He said, give me your loss and your sorrow. I nodded my head as I lay on the bed. If I show you the roses, will you follow? Wow. Man, and the grass is not always greener is the lesson that we learn inside of this story, right? Where the wild things grow, right? It's not always greener. That's what this is right here. But it's based on truth as well. If we look up at the story here, 
medieval Europe. Yeah, very, very old story. Very old story passed down through many generations. Whew. Wow. Leave it to Nick, man. And Kylie as well. Both of them. My word, they are really, really doing a great job of putting the vibe where it needs to be with this. They call me the wild rose My name was Eliza Day Why they call me that I do not know day he took me to the river he showed me the roses and we kissed and the last thing i heard was a martyred word as he knelt above me with a rock in his fist While on the last day i took her where the wild roses grow she lay on the bank the wind lied as if he and I kissed her goodbye Said all oh, beauty must die And I leant down and planted a rose between her teeth This is a perfect tragedy Written into a song And unfortunately it's a true story from all accounts, right? <sighs> wow. Kylie started this one. On the third day, he took me to the river. He showed me the roses and we kissed. And the last thing I heard was a muttered word as he knelt above me with a rock in his fist. <sighs> Jesus. On the last day I took her where the wild roses grow, she lay on the bank of the wind light as a thief, and I kissed her goodbye, said all beauty must die, and went down and planted a rose between her teeth. My word. The lyrical approach to this is perfectly written. It, it's a perfect tragedy of a song, like I said. The music video is so dark and so well done, well directed, perfect lighting kind of scheme on it, right? It has that, it's really dark, right? The theme of the video is so dark. This is insane, Peaked. This is one of the craziest things we've had on the channel, and the fact that it's actually a true story that Nick and Kylie tackled together. And the the chorus is so deep. They call me the Wild Rose, but my name was Elisa Day. Why they call me it, I do not know, for my name was Elisa Day. I mean, Lord. Speaking from the ghost's perspective is next level. This is brilliantly composed. Very well done. I like this song a lot, and... The other ones we covered from this Murder Ballads album as well have also been absolutely incredible. This, leave it to people like Nick and Kylie to pull something like this off, man. Rest in peace to Elisa, obviously. That is a very sad story. And it's crazy, man. You gotta be careful, right? You gotta be careful, man. Some people have ulterior motives whenever it comes to those kinds of things, and this is a story of one of those instances. Mr. Goodbye, said all beauty must die, and I leant down and planted a rose between her teeth. The video 
so good. Was a lie. So good on the video, man. I love that. Wow. That is a good fucking song right there. You guys know that song. I know you guys know that song. <laughs> That's a fantastic song right there. And this song right here. My word. Very, very well done. Brilliantly told. Brilliant approach to the storytelling. Their voices complement each other so much. Him having that deep, sullen voice that Nick Cave is known for. And Kylie having that wispy, ghostly energy in this one. Totally different kind of style than what we've heard from Kylie so far on the channel. We've had a couple moments with Kylie on the channel. And this is totally different than anything that I have heard from her so far. I'm excited to check out some more of her and see what those more indie songs that were sent to me sound like. This was incredible. Very well done. Sad story, but extremely well done. The music video was beautiful. The sound was beautiful. Their voices complement each other, and the storytelling and the lyricism, so on point. Like a Broadway musical, really. It, it could be easily put on a stage as an act, for sure. The original video will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Nick Cave and Kylie. Support all the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get the music out into the world. Relate it to our own lives. Discuss the topics and the lyrics. This is a true story of a tragedy from medieval times. And they tackled it and handled it very well on their own rights. Right? I appreciate stuff like this. This was a very good storytelling music video and song here from both of these artists and the Bad Seeds as well. Kudos to them, to the band as well. If you guys are going through anything, please go get that help that's available. Please live your best life. You can do better than all of the things that you're going through that are holding you back. Go live your best life. Get the help you need. Take care of yourselves. I love you guys so much. We're going to get out of here. Um, because of coffee, a reaction video a day or three. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next ones. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.